Hi everyone. In this video, I want to tell you about another important and influential mathematician. He is the Italian mathematician Giolano Cardano, who lived in the 16th century. Now, he's important because of his work in algebra, in which he discovered solution methods for a number of higher order equations, and also for being a pioneer of probability theory. Now, by all accounts, he wasn't a very nice man, and he was addicted to gambling, and it was through this obsession with gambling that he came to discover the basic laws of probability. Let's find out some more now about this interesting character. Girolamo Cardano was born in Pavia in Lombardy, Italy in 1501. He was an illegitimate child of a mathematically gifted lawyer who was a friend of Leonardo da Vinci. He entered the University of Pavia in 1520 and later studied medicine at Padua. Cardano wanted to be a physician in one of the wealthier cities like Milan, but he was refused membership of the College of Physicians because of his illegitimacy and also because he was considered a bit of a troublemaker with an aggressive personality. Eventually, his skill and intelligence in medicine was recognized, and in later life he became a distinguished physician, much in demand in the royal courts, and he gave one of the first clinical descriptions of typhoid fever. Today, Cardano is best remembered for his mathematical accomplishments. In fact, he's considered to be one of the most influential mathematicians of the Renaissance. His writings on the use of negative numbers are the earliest known in Europe. In algebra, he published the solutions to the cubic and quartic equations in his book Ars Magna, 1545. A solution method to cubic equations was communicated to him by Niccolo Tartaglia, who later claimed that Cardano had sworn not to reveal it, and so the two became embroiled in a decade-long fight. The quartic equation was solved by Cardano's student, Ludovico Ferrari. Both these contributions were acknowledged in the foreword of Cardano's book. Cardano was notoriously short of money and kept himself afloat by being an accomplished gambler and chess player. A book by him about games of chance, written in the 1560s but published posthumously in 1663, contains the first systematic treatment of probability, as well as a section on effective cheating methods. Away from mathematics, Cardano invented several mechanical devices, including the combination lock, the Cardano suspension, consisting of three concentric circles that allow a supported compass to rotate freely, and the Cardan shaft, which allows the transmission of rotary motion at various angles and is used in vehicles to this day. He made several contributions to hydrodynamics and claimed that perpetual motion is impossible except in celestial bodies. He published two encyclopedias of natural science that contain a wide variety of inventions, facts and occult superstitions. Despite all his achievements, Cardano led a beleaguered life. He had a difficult upbringing at the hands of an overbearing father. Cardano's elder and favourite son was executed in 1560 after he confessed to having poisoned his wife. His daughter was allegedly a prostitute who died from syphilis, prompting him to write a treatise about the disease. His younger son was a gambler and stole money from him. And Cardano himself was accused of heresy in 1570 because he computed the horoscope of Jesus. Apparently, his own son contributed to the prosecution. Cardano was arrested and had to spend several months in prison, then was forced to abjure and had to give up his professorship. He moved to Rome, received a lifetime annuity from Pope Gregory XIII and finished his not uneventful autobiography. He died in 1570, on the day he'd supposedly astrologically predicted. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.